having built a couple of these studios last year, I've learned to spot the pattern that when you think things are really kind of ground to a halt and nothing seems to be happening, nothing seems to be moving along, you turn a corner and then suddenly you're pretty much nearly there. Um, this, excuse me, mate. Nice one. Um, this fabric, um, it went up in literally two days. Amazing bracket system and fabric that uh, stretches the fabric in situ. So you don't have to build panels before. Here's this lovely walnut diffuser with the air conditioning vent and this uh, nice new electrified blind. And we're starting to put the uh, tie lines in. Um, I'm going to get my tie line plan up on online. If you go to spitfireaudio.com, click on blog, there's more detailed um, analysis of this process. So we go spinning around a bit. Here's the, the schnufter. It's a bit of an extravagance really because it's actually quite slow. It takes a good couple of minutes to um, to draw the blinds. Um, it's probably quite an expense compared to just a, a drawstring, but um, it's quite cool and Austin Powersy, which we like. Um, we've added a uh, another box there to hide my projector kind of gubbins. Uh, there's the blind going back in. Projector gubbins. Uh, I'm not actually putting a projector up at, at first. I'm going to see how I fare with a, a large TV, which I think is actually downstairs, so that should be put up soon. So let's go through to Studio 2. So we just want to have a quick look at that glass. You can see it's non-parallel with the floor, so we don't create any reflections. The wallpaper will be the last stuff up, but this uh, walnut trunking is great for the timeline between the two studios. And again, this studio is also looking great, Studio 2. And uh, the diffuse has gone up there. We saw the brackets last week. And uh, here we've got the surround speaker feeds. And the tie line's being prepared. We won't go into the machine room because I've taken you into there loads of times. So we're getting very close now. And uh, here's that uh, lovely table that um, you saw earlier in the process, putting into storage. Really delighted with this. I don't know how it's going to look with all the kit in, but um, I, um, I just like the kind of old versus new look and feel. So um, telly's gone up. It looks quite small in this room. Here's the surround feed. That's the left surround. Um, and so these fantastically custom-built tie lines are going in. Again, if you look online, uh, there'll be details of uh, how I've tied the whole thing up. And here's the tie line that will lead to Studio 2. That was a, a late edition. We caught that just in time. And if we have a look through here, we'll see where the ties come out. We've got a large cavity with a drawstring. And in fact, I think we're going to drill another cavity in there. So we have a brush plate where we can future-proof it by dragging anything through that we like. Um, and this great floor, you can lift up and feed the cables underneath. Okay, so looking at Studio 2 now. And uh, this is getting very close. The TV's gone up here. Again, it's actually a really big TV, that, but it gives you a sense of the scale of the room. It, these rooms do look very small on the video, but they're actually quite large. Got these um, fancy lights from Retruvius, which is a massively overpriced reclamation shop in London. And uh, Paul Brewer's um, preparing Paul's, or Studio 2's, um, tie lines. One of our last trips into this immense machine room. Be able to put a ping pong table in there. But it's really looking fantastic. And there's the uh, three sets of opposing glass and the electric blinds have gone in there. There's Paul's left surround. 
So I had to get set up very, very quickly. Uh, the studios aren't even 100% finished. You can see the wallpaper's not up. This is all my gubbins here. Um, let's have a quick look, because I think this is kind of a last opportunity to see Studio 2 with nothing in. Um, again, the big telly that doesn't look very big um, on camera, but it is, give you a sense of, of the scale of the, the rooms. Um, but that's pretty much the last time you're going to see that, um, looking at that, that, the sofa's already in. Uh, Studio 2 has commissioned a, a purpose-built workbench. So you'll see how these rooms um, can look um, you know, with two different approaches. Mine is a much more kind of old versus new. Um, so I've had my assistant set up a, a just a core system um, up to get me up and running as quickly as possible. I've only actually had a day and a half's downtime because I'm doing the last ever Poirot, which we score in a week's time, and we'll be scoring some of that here. Um, so what I'll do, that's the piano, it's a very pianistic score, the last Poirot. Um, so what I'll do is I'll next week I'll take you through my kind of setup in a more fulsome way. Uh, here's all my digital gubbins, but everything's still in a, a sense of disarray, really. But I'm up and running and working, which is delightful.